Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to make a rubber band eraser. This will be an easy life hack tutorial, so let's get right into the video. As you can see, all that you need is some rubber bands. Well, you only need one rubber band, to be honest with you, but if you have a few of them, it makes it a little bit easier to get it done properly. And then you need a pencil um, that you want to erase with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw a few lines over here, okay, just like this. I'll draw a couple lines just like that, okay? You can see it's sort of a regular darkness. I didn't do them like extra light or anything like that for this video. And then if you wanna erase it, <clears throat> all that you need to do is get a rubber band or an elastic band and you need to rub the rubber band on the lines. Now the key here is that you want the rubber band to stay in place, okay? Because if I'm going to take off this green one right here, if I just use the rubber band and it's sort of just moving around and I go like this, I'm not going to get any friction on the paper. It still will erase, but it will erase not, it, it won't do a great job, right? It would take a very long time to erase it because it's moving back and forth. You're not getting the rubber band to rub. You're not getting the rubber to rub against the pencil. So you want to uh, either create a rubber band ball, like I started to create over here, which is just a whole bunch of elastic bands that you can sort of just wrap around each other over and over until you create sort of like a, a rubber band ball. You can do that. Um, and then you can always use that. Um, you can play with it or you can use it to erase. So rubber band balls are really good and convenient. Or you can do what I did right here, which is just wrap the rubber band around the pencil, okay? And then you take the back of the pencil with the rubber band wrapped around it, and you just rub that rubber band against what you want to erase. Check that out, look at that, look at that, look, look, look. It's absolutely incredible, okay? Now, does it erase it absolutely perfectly? No, you can see there is still a faint line, obviously. I'm not sure if I kept going and going and going, if it would eventually erase it perfectly. It's getting, it's getting more and more faint, but it's not gonna do as good of a job as an eraser. But let's see, you don't have an eraser and you have rubber bands. You can just do that. And if you want to, <clears throat> let's say you have a pencil, the eraser's already gone. You know, sometimes we have pencils and the eraser's already gone on them, right? We end up using the eraser before we finish using the pencil. Um, so you have a pencil without an eraser, you can just wrap a couple of rubber bands around it and that will give you, you know, the erasing power that you need. Just make sure, like I said, make sure they're nice and, and less securely in place so you're actually going to get some friction and then you can go ahead and you can erase using the back of your pencil with the rubber bands. It's that easy. Look, you can see there's still a faint line. I just did it here actually before I started filming. I was just testing how it would work on this paper because I've used this method before, but I wanted to make sure like, you know, it would work before I actually did the video just because, you know, every pencil might be slightly different. Every piece of paper might be slightly different. So I just wanted to make sure it would work properly as I, uh, as I had envisioned it to work. Like I used to do this when I was in my younger days as a kid. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's, that's the tutorial, the life hack tutorial. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.